Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Two teams that have combined to win 11 Super Bowl titles. The Steelers and the Niners are underway. Set to return, this is Brandon Cooks. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the 49ers, they're getting set to go on offense, first and 10. Then he motions the wide receiver. First carry for the five-time pro bowler, LaDainian Tomlinson. Had a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. And with the play clock about to expire, Kyle Shanahan's going to use a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second down, it's Tomlinson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll look for the first with Tomlinson. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is. Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board, and they're able to avoid that three and out. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So a ways to go here on third and ten. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. 
And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. Gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. running down. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And a very short pick up there across the 15 to the 16. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there and it moves the sticks. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. This is Bell. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Play clock winding down. Now he'll throw with Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. That's certainly not something we see often from number 12, Tom Brady, although we did see it in Super Bowl 51. And that's why it's so memorable, because of what you just said. It doesn't happen very often. And think of the momentum that you gain as a defense, not only picking off Tom Brady, but pick six, oh boy, you feel good about yourselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and take it. And now out come the Steelers. down he's gonna fire one deep middle of the field in a double coverage and it's intercepted picked off at the 36 and they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40 yard line we don't see this often a quarterback of his caliber two first half interceptions it's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. Three down, three down. 
They stay on the ground. Tomlinson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. play fake. Here's Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. And break. The tight end's got it. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Here's Andy Lee now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And here's a very low line drive. Almost whiffed on it. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And the Steelers set to take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. They find some open field here. It's a big run that time by Bell. 58 yards. And for those worried about whether or not Le'Veon's explosiveness would return, I think we just had our answer. ACL? What ACL? This guy's back running as if he were totally healthy and never had an issue. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. Now they'll try to sweep with Bell. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll pitch it out to Bell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. It's Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Brown. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Now Bell. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout. 
in time as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in
stamp number one. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big one. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Le'Veon Bell as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position maybe, turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> And some extras coming up on the line here, reading for the blitz. Now Roethlisberger on first down. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. They toss it to Tomlinson. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. And a big loss here as he's taken down. First half in. Sorry, Larry. Your hard work appreciated by so many men and women, but not today as we get back to the action in the second half. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. The second half starts with a carry by Bell. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brady to throw on second down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 38. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. 
After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. And is Steeler pressure too much here? He's going down. Deion Jones in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Second down, here's Roethlisberger. He's going to go up top for the end. And it's complete. In the end zone, touchdown 49ers. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Here's a give to Bell running left. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. They'll go again with Bell. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. play clock on third down Brady and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by Jason Barrett and his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line the 49ers offense making its way back out there they've got to be saying boy thanks for this field position yeah remember their last drive in which they scored a touchdown that one also began an excellent field position so let's see if they can capitalize a second time and they'll start this drive with very good field position on first down it's Roethlisberger got his target Pierre Garçon and he'll go down at the 28. A gain of six there on first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, Roethlisberger. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Roethlisberger will throw. They set up the screen to LT. And a screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And Sturgis able to knock it through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to 7. 
So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Ten yards still left on second down. Brady. And he fires one incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No pick, just incomplete that time. On third down, here's Bell. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there. 72 yards. And the 49ers add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Let's go! One, Flex round! Flex round! And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And an alley to run! And now a fumble! The ball's out! On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual 
for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So the offense has it first and 10. Slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. You're exactly right, they've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. And the play clock's running down. On first and ten, here's Brady. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Tyreek Hill, 58 yards. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So second and ten here. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So here we go, first and ten now. Right. 
Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Unable to connect on the first down pass play, now it's second down. Drop him for a loss of about 10. The Niners on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and forever. Roethlisberger to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. With it is Brown. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, Two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. He's going to let it fly. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Back to throw. Brady. He gets it to Brown. Complete. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. That one good for 14 yards and a stealer first. Brady to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. 11 more on that one and another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. To throw is Brady. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Michael Bannon in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> right. So the D-line's going to spread out. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? Anything trying to get going again, but you're right. He definitely took a shot. Flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. 
Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Flush. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Out on the field now. Here come the 49ers. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use them all the way through. Now Toplin set on first and ten. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And some room to work. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Thank <laughs> you. 